Hello, everybody. Happy Friday morning to all of you. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We've got some rumors. We've got some gossip. We've got some Instagram stories, some TikToks, some Reddit threads, a whole pile of laundry we need to get to in this episode. No great story out right now in Bachelor Nation. It's that one week between seasons where we're just catching up on who's dating who, who's breaking up with who. We got a Christian Mingle story from the uh, goopy eyelash lady. We've got a uh, Connor having a hard time bumping his Harrison story. Is Claire in a relationship again? Just a rumor. We've got Noah backing into a house. There's so many little stories. And I know what people are thinking, Dave, if you don't have any good content, don't make a video. <laughs> Good one. Let's get into it. Hey, folks. All right, here we go. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this content. I've got a stand-up show tonight in North Hollywood. If you want to come out to that, it's free. It's BYOB. Let me know on Instagram at dneals if you do want to come. You can find me down there at dneals. And we'll get right into it. Let's do it, folks. A couple of videos coming to you guys today. I'll have a Patreon video up for you guys later. And if you want to join the uh, community on Facebook, it's Dave Neal's Community. 1300 members thank you guys so much for all the support over there and i'll play i'll play for you guys a quick s clip of my vlog i need more people to go watch this here's a new vlog for my vlog channel uh some behind the scenes stuff going on in new york city squash a mosquito off of me it's that same motion have you ever had a fireman teach you that if like you pat a doorknob and it's warm and like steam's coming so up, i had a show on top of a roof in brooklyn <laughs> uh, called the tiny cupboard I showed some behind-the-scenes yeah, footage of the show. Uh, you can go check out some of that. Plus, Tasha went to um, Fashion Week, so we did a sh we did some uh, behind-the-scenes of Tasha at Fashion Week. Uh. All right, so if you want to go see that, so that's my actually, life. You can go catch that over there. Let's get right into it. First story up, we have Natasha posting a poll about shipping her with Justin or Clay. Who do you ship more? And of course, as we all know, can you imagine if the genders were reversed? Can you imagine? Let's just, let's take Justin, for example. If Justin was like, who do you guys want me to uh, hook up with more? McKenna? Or you know what I mean? You'd be like, what are you doing? Uh, clearly it's in good fun. But um, she had a response from Justin. You know, whenever anybody responds to anybody's stories in, in Bachelor Nation, uh, the audience immediately, like, we're all like a feverish aunt who's like, well, how are you dating that that young man that came by? For, you know, well, I, don't, I don't know why I sound like a grandmother, but you know what I mean? It's like, we just want to find out that info. So we have Clay. So she basically pitted Clay versus Justin. And um, well, I guess who's on the right? Someone got the 77%. Either way, it doesn't matter. I think it's ridiculous. But um, I don't think if she was actually into either of these two guys, she would have posted a poll. Could you imagine if we lived in a world where, like, you just posted a poll for who, like, like, a, like that would be the ultimate form of democracy, right? If your friends could just vote on who, you're like, all right, I'm going home. I got this guy over here who's eating the hot dog. Uh, and then I got this guy over here who's pretending he can't find his wallet so he doesn't have to pay for the tab. Who should I take home? And they're like, can it be neither? Um, someone, po so someone posted, this is super cringe. Also, Justin. <laughs> People are like, this is gross. Pick Justin. You got to pick Justin. Uh, yeah, Justin, how, how, he, he's a catch, right? Justin's a catch. I hope Clay and Justin were in on the joke because otherwise this is very uncomfortable. This is the cringiest post, but I'm still going to answer Justin. I vote for Clay Aiken before Clay from The Bachelor. <laughs> I love a good uh, American Idol reference. Boy, Clay Aiken, he came out of the closet, what, like a decade after being on the show? Can you imagine that in our own lifetime, you had to hide your own sexuality? I mean, I know you still do in a lot of places. It just goes to show progress. It's, uh, it, it, it feels fast in some ways, and it feels slow in others. This is so embarrassing. Could you imagine if someone on the sub didn't stand... Wait, uh, that's, the, the, the whole stands and shippings really get me going. Love Natasha, but this was something that did not need to be posted. Well, I'm surprised she's actually getting this much blowback. Um, cringe factor is astronomical. I feel like the fact that she posted this shows that she's not interested in either of them, clearly. All right, let's move it along. So here's an interesting rumor. Just a rumor, no evidence, no tea, none of that. But I thought it was interesting because you guys know I love following Claire. Does anyone else feel like Claire might be dating someone or at least might be going on dates and posting stories from them? To be clear, I have 0.00T, but the other day I noticed a story she posted where she's clearly in the passenger seat, but the driver is not shown. It just stuck out to me that she made a point of not showing the driver, but obviously it could have just been meaningless. 
It still may be meaningless, but she just posted two stories where she's the passenger and the driver was like, she totally avoids the side of the car. So she also posted her food in a run at the game, but no pics of her mystery companion. Did anyone else have this thought? I feel like, and I'll show, I'll show you the, uh, the Instagram story, but I feel like it's probably like, if she's out with a guy friend, could you imagine if she's like with a buddy of hers? You know, just a buddy. We all have buddies, right? She's single. She's got buddies. And then all of a sudden, everyone's digging into the buddy's, you know, Instagram account. He works for a law firm. People are, you know, idiots like me are calling up, you know, trying to, you know, whatever. Honestly, so let's read a couple of comments from people. So clearly, it, like, you know, these are the things with wild rumors. It could be right a percentage of the time, and it could just be that she's out with someone said justice for Benoit. But seriously, I hope she takes time for herself, whether that's a week, a month, or more. She's clearly an all-in, head-over-heels type of person, and she needs someone that feels the same for her and won't take advantage of that. I think I remember reading that she doesn't show any of her sisters on purpose. I feel like it's pretty on brand for many influencers to avoid showing their friends. Uh, the story screamed... Okay, someone said, I had the exact same feeling. The story screamed, soft boyfriend launch to me. I thought the same thing with those stories. Seemed like she was on a date each time. I mean, would she go on a date where she's sitting in like the third row of a playoff game where you're probably... Like, if like okay... Does anyone have any footage of the game? Because she's probably, you can probably see her in the audience, in the stands. Let's go to the, let's go to the video here. So someone, you know, I get messages all day long from people. I can't tell you how many people still send me Dale's toes. Keep sending them. Sure. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, here she is game five. And people were like, oh, is she in New York city? It's like, no, she's in, uh, you know, San Francisco, right? Is that where the game is? Is it in San Francisco? So let's go. Let's, there she is. So she's in a car. All right. So here's what we know. <laughs> there she is. Objects and mirror may be single. Uh, <laughs> she's going over the bridge. She's doing her thing. Um, she's, uh, we don't know who she's with. Let's see if we can get any reflections in the uh, mirrors here. Good couple. Is that a couple? So here she is looking good. And then we don't even get it close to see who's in the other seat. A food photo. Nice food at the game. Uh, really stepping things up. And here it is. This is what I hate about sports these days. you got to videotape it on your own. We hear a man yelling. We hear 60,000 men yelling. So there she was. And then there's a guy putting his jacket on upside down. So we don't, we don't see anything there. But I will say this. I will say this. Again, ladies, let me know. This is the type of leather jacket you wear when you're on a first date. This is first date leather jacket. Am I right or am I right? You wear this on the first date. You want to seem cool, young, like a like a bad girl, but it's also kind of like stylish. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm calling it first date jacket. Either way, she's probably with a friend. Who knows? But uh, if anyone has any video footage, by all means, it's a slow day. Get into it. All right. Here are, we have Maggie up next. Maggie and Dr. Joe. <laughs> so many random stories today. Here they are. I mean, if that's if this isn't mood lighting for a date, I don't know what is. When the uh, when you when you need to use the uh, lighter, when you have to use a flashlight on your phone to read the menu, you're probably on a date. So here's Maggie, first time meeting Doctor Joe. Which, as far as first responders go, this would be the uh, the the best relationship in Bachelor Nation. She and I, now correct me. He's a doctor, and correct me if I'm wrong. She's a pharmacist but also a graduate student or is she getting her phd either way she's smarter than all of us she speaks multiple languages um she's uh, advocating for her family and the genocide in Tigray. she's really one of the nicest people i've ever corresponded with in bachelor nation she's a catch and whether or not they're on a date or not she goes hey dr joe glad to finally meet you in person well time for your afternoon checkup all right so yeah they would be a great catch they would have beautiful children for sure but uh, let's not leap to conclusions here. But maybe he could, uh, uh, you know, maybe he could uh, write the prescription and she could cash it out, right? Isn't that how it works? The doctor's got the messy handwriting. She's got to decipher it. The perfect relationship. Cheers, Joe. Thank you for showing me my new neighborhood. Oh, and the good laughs. All right. So I wouldn't, this is by no means a friend zone photo. But the question is this. Are they so comfortable with each other that they clearly are friends? Is he friend zoning her? Like, oh, we're just friends. Take the photo. Or, or maybe, maybe they've been canoodling and corresponding for so long. Either way, um, Maggie doesn't get the due justice I feel like she needs. Now, if you, let's put it this way. She's more beautiful on the inside than she is on the outside. 
And what that says to you is that she's got a beautiful soul because on the outside, she's one of the most beautiful people that's walking the face of the planet. On the inside, she seems to be very well-adjusted, hardworking, smart, kind. There she is, end the famine in Tigre. If anyone doesn't understand what's going on with this story, Maggie's using her platform to speak about the genocide that's been happening to her family. It's obviously, if you read up on it, there's... There's so much propaganda on both sides. It's so hard to even know what the hell's going on over there. But while she was filming Matt James' season of The Bachelor, she got home and realized she couldn't even contact her family. The power was out in that part of the, in that region of the country. And it's, um, it is, anyway, she's, she's got quite the story to tell and good for her for going out there and meeting Dr. Joe. There she is, doctor of pharmacy. Yep, absolutely. So let's move it along. Speaking of other uh, people that work in healthcare, Noah... Right, traveling nurse Noah. He has a story here, pretty fun. Let's have a watch. Uh, Noah's right. recent story. Me, for the record, coming clean. I was going to keep it under the rug, not talk about it, but I do have a small, slight story. Just for the record, um, you know, loves love makes you do crazy things. Amen. You know, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to start this story by setting the mood. Ivan's like, that's what I'm Just saying. Took Abigail out to a nice dinner. We're enjoying ourselves. Incredible experience. Food was great. Um, we hop in the car, we start listening to Annie, of all things. Sun will come out tomorrow, it starts raining, the mood's getting right, okay? We get to my house, I stop the car, I look at Abigail, I'm like, dang, she looks really pretty. So I start kissing her. Um, nice turns out I never put the car in park, and I rolled right through my grass and hit my house genuinely small little kiss Yikes. turned into me hitting my house and i've never done that before i wouldn't even think to do that that's absurd but here i am letting all things go to shambles for a little bit of love so put your car in park nothing bad happened <laughs> all right nice psa there oh there's more to it since my last escapade i've been in the dog house driving my own car Woo! you're doing great all right, Thanks so clearly, uh, clearly the kissing game is on point for Abigail. Listen, you're not a good kisser unless you can convince your significant other to drive their car through their house. Uh, now he, I mean, you know, you know, you know how it is. The car is left and driving, right, it's inching forward. For the so record. clearly, uh, clearly, uh, it was a love tap. But boy, they're lucky. I mean, that can be dangerous. Uh, <laughs> the older you get, the more risk adverse you are. And I'm like, wow, we this could be dangerous. I mean, imagine if they're making out in the you know, the airbag goes off. You could have, uh, or God forbid he's getting an old fashioned. You know, what happens when the airbag goes off when you're getting an old fashioned? What do you do with that? Isn't it chemical burns and things? Oh boy. Don't drive and kiss people is what they say. Uh, he said, someone said, wow, his new look is doing it for me. What new, what new look are you talking about? Relief pitcher for the, uh, 1982 athletic angel, <laughs> athletic Oakland athletics. All right. That's we call that a flat tire when you tell a joke but you don't get it all out. It's not a bomb; it's a flat tire. All right. Uh, did you see? He, he lucky he didn't get a flat tire after hitting that thing, or maybe he did. That's a metaphor. Did you all see his other story teaching Abigail to drive? His chaotic energy really does it for me. He gives me big Dax Shepherd energy. I'm really feeling the f out of his long hair and mustache, like '70s vibes. Um, that was a missed opportunity to say he kissed the house too. Uh, well, let him, let him punch up his own jokes. Why were they listening to Annie? Why not? The sun will come out tomorrow. Let's move it along. All right, so here we have Serena. I'm not going to be able to play the audio because it's a licensed song. She hops on a hip-hop trend. Why are you engaged to someone 11 years older than you? Let's. So that's the question. And then we have Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, age difference. We have um, uh, Adam Levine in his, uh, I don't know her name. It, it was Is that the uh, Abalu? What's it? Okay. And then uh, we've got Jay-Z and Beyonce, age difference. Uh, George Clooney, and I forgive me for not knowing her name. I, she's a doctor, but, she, you know, okay. So anyway, I guess, um, I, guess uh, <laughs> I guess she's comparing Grocery Store Joe to uh, uh, Jay-Z. I guess she's comparing Grocery Store Joe to George Clooney, okay? I guess she's comparing Grocery Store Joe. Or is she comparing herself to Blake Lively? Either way, I know it's all in good fun there, but I'm sure the top comments here are full of snark. Why wouldn't they be? I haven't read these yet. But, um, you know, all right, yeah, 11 years isn't a huge difference. It's uh, But then again, a lot of those people, like George Clooney got with um, 
it's not it's not Amala, what's it, whatever her name is. They got together when he was probably what in his fifties. So it's like eleven years becomes less of an age gap the older you get. Obviously, if she's eighteen and he's twenty nine, it's it's a little bit different than if uh, you know she's thirty three and he's forty four. All right. Are we going to completely forget about the fact that Mari is 25 and Kenny is 40? I don't know. Mari doesn't feel as young. I don't know. Is it just me? Serena looks younger. That's a compliment to her. She looks younger. Serena being Gen Z but not using the green screen feature is the funniest part of this TikTok. Speaking of celebrity couples with age gaps, Celine Dion met her husband when she was 12 and he was 38. They officially became a couple when she was 19. Never getting over that. Hey, that's the French Canadians, though. They're, they're weird up there, right, folks? Um, and I don't know what happened with that relationship. He died, right? This is a, this and Emmanuel Macron and his wife keep me up every night. Yeah, Emmanuel Macron is the are we is that his name? Is that how you say his name? He married his school teacher in France. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Let's go to Connor. He's having a hard time trying to date. Let's see what he has to say here. All right, trying to date after Bachelorette, it's a hard knock. and it's a hard knock life. Another Annie song here. Screenshotted, screenshotted Twitter DMs on Facebook. Uh, Hinge account immediately posted on TikTok. Uh, dates make a TikTok about me being a bad kisser. So it's obviously a joke, but he's got a, he's playing around with the fact that he can't go on a date. I mean, imagine that. Imagine just trying to go on a date, bump your Harrison, Lance your bass, spike a coconut, caress your Burgess, uh, bump your bong on top of your little John, and uh, and throw a little uh, Jesse onto your Palmer. <laughs> That's a new one. Throw a little Jesse onto your Palmer. I mean, imagine if you're just trying to get a little nooks. You know what I mean? That's got to be tough for him. Uh, so let's see what the comments are here. It really is like this, though. People post everything about these contestants. If I was on the show, I'd be so scared to DM or go on a date with anyone for fear of stuff getting posted on TikTok or Reddit. This is why they like to date and hook up with other Bachelor Nation folks. Reduces the risk of things like this. Also, tr and, and trust me when I say this, it's very hard. If someone's a fan... Of you, and I don't know this. I don't have fans. These people have, like, screaming fans. But I, I did. I, I mentioned this the other day. I was leaving a comedy thing, and someone r r screams out the window, Dave Neal, I'm a big fan! And I thought it was another comic, like, making fun of me, because that's what comics do. We make fun of each other. And I was like, hey, how are you? And then I, and then I crossed the street. And then a little while later, I get a uh, DM from somebody, uh, in my uh, others folder on Instagram, it says, sorry if I startled you. I, uh, I, I wanted to say I'm a fan or whatever the case may be. And I was like, oh, no, sorry. I just was surprised. You don't, you don't get that in public. You know, it's one thing if someone comes to a stand-up show, but it's rare that someone on the street sees you. So anyway, what's the point of that story? Well, I couldn't imagine what, the, what these people are going through. They've got a much bigger following. And yeah, I mean, like uh, up until now, he was just a, uh, a guy, a musician who would uh, try to, you know, make out with somebody after he plays Sweet Caroline. I mean, isn't this what the, and you know, it's obviously something he's making light of, but you know, you do have to, you, you, it's almost like, it's almost like he has to date someone who's at his level, either, either in influencing or with their own level of fame. Like someone was saying like that, what Kat Stickler, whatever her name was, you got to date someone who's like not a fan. You can't date, don't F your fans. That's where you go wrong. But but if you meet someone out of the bar, who who do you, who are you to know? Maybe you know they maybe you know like I'm I'm sure he could go to bars, post that he's at a bar, and then women might show up because they heard he's at a bar if they're into him. You know what I mean? All right, let's go to our last one here. So we save the we usually save the best for last, but in this case, we'll just go to uh, uh this brutal. Um, here we have uh, what's her name again? Maddie. We have Maddie here. Christian Mingle, Maddie. I'm pretty picky when it comes to finding someone, so it makes it a little bit harder and a little bit more difficult. But I know that when that right person comes, it's going to make it so much sweeter and better. And I mean, there's obviously always speculation and people talking about you now because you are on Bachelor Nation, as they say. So you know, I saw those photos of you with Mikey from Katie's season of The Bachelor. I wanted to know if there was anything you'd like to clear up there. Bedside chats. You know, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that. I will say Mikey is an amazing guy, um, and I'm in a season right now of fully focusing on my book, fully focusing on you know where God has me right now. And honestly, don't think I could be in a relationship right this second. I hate this logic. I'm focusing on where God has me right now. God has you trying to bump Harrison's with uh, Mikey Planeta. He put you guys together. 
You know, God works in mysterious ways. Maybe he's working through a bachelor producer who plucked a few virgins together so you guys could dry hump on your denim. Who knows, folks? I I don't think we can get anything better than dry hump on your denim. That's the episode. We'll see you guys at the stand-up show tonight. Go to patreon.com slash Dave Neal if you want the extra content. Dave Neal's community on Facebook and Dave Neal vlogs on YouTube. Go check out that vlog. Leave a comment. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Go, uh, Go rub some friction on your denim tonight. Bye, everyone.